high up because I'm us. I'm the one who shut the video down early. Yeah, you <laughs> left me with the biggest bloody decision I've got to make for a long time. You absolute. So now that Will Voice had some time to contemplate, <laughs> um, and we left that cliffhanger. So yeah, go for it. Fucking go for it. There you go. The floor is yours. Shall I explain my decisions? Do what you want. Right, okay. We're going to be an absolute dick. You're going to be a dick? You'll always be my dearest friend. Oh, man. What you need most... What you need most is for things to be like they've always been. Monica told me the truth. She told me how you happy... How you seemed happier. How much happier you seemed after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult things right now. But please trust me that I know what's best. And what will make you happy in the end. Oh. I promise I'll help dick. get things back to the way they were. I I see. So you're forced to smile for an incredibly plain expression. Ah uh, Is this what it feels like to get stabbed in the chest? Oh, I'm a dick. <laughs> I should write a poem about this, Sayori. It's okay. This is just my punishment, remember, for being so selfish. So please, don't, please don't worry about these stupid feelings. I know you're right. Don't go hang yourself or anything. That wouldn't be good. I knew this whole time that there's no happiness down that path. That's why I came here. Just so I could get the answer I needed to hear. And the other thing, you're also right that I want it to go back to the way it was. I realise that now. You really do know me better than anyone, Kazuma. I trust you with anything. Anything at all. So, she always smiley finally breaks. All of a sudden she turns around and drops to her knees. Ah! She said the wrath of car moment. Mm-hmm. Clutching her head with both hands, she screams as loudly as she can. I'm so shocked that I don't know how to react. Siori looks over her shoulder and flashes me one more weak smile before turning around and running off. Siori! I'm left helpless standing in front of my house. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? You're feeling horrible, mate. Think how I bloody feel. There's nothing more I could have done. The most I can do is support Siori through her feelings and help her on the path that's right. But I'm having as much trouble understanding... She's always feeling as she is, even though I can comfort her. I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they are. I'm going to give her everything I've got. She'll always be my dearest friend, and I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on her face every day. Here you go, turn. So. T you're going you're gonna to tell the viewers why you made that decision? Yeah. Like you said. Well, because I thought about it for a couple of minutes, and I thought, <laughs> well, if I said that I love her, then that's a nice expression, but she might misinterpret that, and it could go into something deeper, yeah. and it could go into something okay. a bit weird. She could get the wrong end of the stick, basically. Yeah. Also, if she, what she needs is a friend through depression, having people that have been through it before. Yeah. A friend is more able yeah, to be bring it out than yeah. someone that you... It, being okay. a lover, kind of like conflict of interest, I suppose. So yeah. I, yeah, I see that. Okay. So I made a logical decision. Yeah. It's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Suri. But Suri isn't answering her phone. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but, she, that, but decided that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. I managed to carry all the cupcakes myself, to, like carefully stacking the two trays. Natsuki is already texting up a storm, but I can't respond thanks to my hands being full. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Saru and Natsuki at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. Kazuma, you're the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. It must be one she prepared that has all poems that we're performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You think that on days like this, on days this important, she'd try a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday. And I suddenly feel awful knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking, but maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. Ah, you should take a little responsibility for her, Kazuma. I mean, especially after 
You exchanged with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know. Exchange. Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president, after all. But I stammer, embarrassed. Did Sarah tell her about it that quickly? About how I basically turned down her confession? That makes me really feel like the bad guy here. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> But I'm the one who knows, yeah, dip two fingers, yeah, you can do it as much as you want, but you made that choice. But I'm the one who knows what's best for her, right? Jeez. You don't know about the full story after all, so don't worry. I probably know mo a lot more than you think. Eh? Monica is being friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really, really nice. Yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desk. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this definitely will help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on this page, giving it almost professional feel. I recognise Natsuki's and Yuri's poem from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different from the other ones she practised. It's one I haven't read before. Oh, right. Get out of my head, 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 get out of my head. Get out of my head before I do what is, I know what is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before, before I finish writing this poem. But this, but a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. Wow. Oh. Okay. What is this? Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Kazuma, what's wrong? Ah, nothing. The poem feels completely different from everyone else Sarori's written. But more than that, I changed my mind. I'm going to go get Sarori, so... Ah, well, all right. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Monica calls out after me. I quicken my pace. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sarori. It's not a big deal, at least to wait for her or help wake her up. Even the simple gesture of walking into school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same after they've always been. That's all she needs and what I'm going to give her. I reach over his house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer, since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I open the door and let myself in. Sayori? She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking up in her own house. Isn't that more something like a boyfriend would do? In any case, it feels right. Outside Sarah's room, I knock on the door. Sayori, wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't have to enter a room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Oh, well, fuck. I told her not to do that. You knew this was coming, didn't you? How do you feel? How do you feel? I'm going to a and cry. I just fucking killed someone. Yeah. <laughs> what? What, what the, the hell? What the what hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. So he wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I believe what my can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I suspect the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told sorry I would be there for her. I told her I know what's best and that everything will be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Turning down her confession, that has to be what I pushed her over the edge. Her agonising scream still echoes in my ears. Why did I do that to her when she needed me the most? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. Why, is it, why do I have to read this <laughs> fucking bit? If I just spent more time with her. Walked her to school. Uh, tell me what you did fucking wrong. I know. I gave her what she wanted to do out of our relationship. Then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. 
Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can do to bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. That's what it fucking is. <laughs> I had only one chance and it wasn't careful enough. And now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now, I can never take it back. Never. 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 Well, fuck that. What the hell happened there? Did you see something when um, she died? Yeah, the game was messed up with the script error. Does that mean she's not in the game anymore? Hmm. What could you do to find out? I'm not playing it again! No, what could you do to find out? Restart! No, that's not in the game. I'm giving you a big fucking hint there. I'm giving you a big fucking hint. What could you do to find out that's not in the game? Yeah, Google it. No. <laughs> it's what, you, don't, you don't have to go on the internet for this at all. Press that button there. No. It's even closer to home. What's that then? What does that do for, on your computer? You went into the history? No. What did I do? Yeah. I downloaded the game, right? Yes. Right? Then we've got to re-download the go game. Check. Go check the game files. Oh dear, have you still got the game files up? Go, go check them. Has he just given us a picture? Open it. Right, what the fuck? What the hell is this? Damn. <laughs> what the fuck? Dig a bit, dig a bit deeper. Where else am I do you dig it? In, in, back in here? Dig, dig a bit deeper. Where you on about, in here? Mm, Characters? Yeah, that. Where's she gone? Where's she gone? She's fucking she's dead. dead. She's dead. She's not real anymore. She's, Whoa. Out, she's out the game files. What? Yeah. No! That's not fair! <laughs> what? That's crap! Dig a bit deeper. No! Go back. Right. Go. What did it say? Trace back. Mm. Where are we going? Trace back. Bottom. On the bottom. That's just not fair. She's the one making this so difficult. Oh well, here goes nothing. Oh jeez, I didn't break anything. He's probably stealing her. Well, here goes nothing. The plot thickens. We're not done yet, sunshine. <laughs> What's next? We're, we're not dead. We're not. De we're not done yet. Why? What, are we going to go back into the game? Mm. You can. You knew. Try and knew. Yeah. Knew. She's fucking broken it. <laughs> She's actually. Through it slowly. Yeah. I'm perfectly content just by getting on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Hmm. There's all, always the anime club, but it's not like there'll be any girls in it anyway. Well, that quickened up a bit, didn't it? 
it's over before we know it. After, but as they blank up the wall of now some motivation clubs. They really aren't any interest to me. Besides, most will probably go away demanding for me to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club, Kazuma. Wait, what? Wait! I mean, go for it. What the fuck? Oh my goodness, I didn't totally expect you to see you here. It's been a while, right? Ah, uh, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We don't know each other, we really talk, but we were in the same class as last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class, smart, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my league. Having a smile and genuine, so genuinely feels a little. What did you come in for, anyway? I've just been looking for some supplies to use in my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? Ah, uh, about that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the, all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. What are you thinking? What? What? What the hell? What? What is it? Just keep going. I'd much rather take something personally I'll personally enjoy him and yeah, I'm special out of it. In that case, what club do you decide to join? Actually I'm starting a new one. It's just a club. Literature. Wait, are we gonna become Sayori now? That's good conjecture, but no. She's deleted. How could you be Sayori? She's deleted. She's gone. They're gonna become like the vice president. That can sound adult. that sounds kinda of dull. How many members do you have so far? Mm. Uh it's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know. Literature can be anything reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of our members even keeps all our mind collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature, too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member's a member, right? Did Monica say she? Hmm. Hey, Kazuma. By any chance, are you looking for a club to join? Uh, I mean, I guess so, but... In that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favour? I won't ask you to join, but if you could at least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please? Mm. Well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I refuse someone like Monica? Sure. I guess I could just check it out. Ah, oh, awesome. You're really sweet, Cosmo. You know that. It's nothing, really. Shall we go, then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. Ah. And thus today, I marked today I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. I timidly follow Marco across the school and upstairs to a section of the class of the school. I rarely visit being generally used for third year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings the door, open the classroom door. I'm back, and I brought a guest with me. Girl, one. Yeah. yeah. A guest? Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Wait, don't be mean. But anyway, welcome to the club, Kazuma. Mm. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. So let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. Natsuki. A girl with a sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is one I don't recognise. A small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Anyway, this is Natsuki, and the as usual, and this is Yuri, the vice president. It's really nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears to be comparably more timid, yeah. So a lot of this is like the same text. Though. But without her? Yeah. Hmm? What? Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So. Oh. I ran into Kazuma in the classroom and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica. Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Kazuma? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Mo Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So I know you didn't really have a plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As the president of Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club feel fun and excited for everyone. I'm surprised there are more people aren't more people in this club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting all the effort into start something brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. <laughs> I'm confident that we all really grow the, this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki. Well, I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have really worked hard just to find these two. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places the teacup in, the, in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. Yeah, I know that line's defeated. 
Ah, I guess. Don't let you get to me, Dave. Just trying to impress you. That's not. I saw your looks away. I mean, like you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Your faint smiles herself in relief. So, Kazma, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, yeah. So this is the same. Talking about manga, yeah. Half joking. Yeah. So, yeah. Not much of a reader, I guess. That can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking. I've seen Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces a room with a couple of the finger. My favourites are usually novels that build in deep, complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship between them is amazing to me, and telling me good stories of foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up. She finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories of deep psychological, uh, um, physiological, yeah, psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can all so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. I just simply grabbed something over to over middle level. At this rate, Yuri might be having a conversation with a rock. Ah, uh, I expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality, or is that so? Really, if a story makes me think or take to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, even, even for a brief, brief moment. Oh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over for me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. Usually you like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? I left a piece of scrap paper on the last cover meeting. Yeah, this is the same. Fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Oh, well, I guess sometimes. Why you there? So yeah, this is the setup again. I share this some time. No. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. I'm a content writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Show them this level right. Yeah, I can't believe the character wrote the game. Mm. That's actually quite clever. You think? And the fact that they left the feedback yep. of like a suicide note. Mm -hmm. she, they basically left a suicide note in the game coding. Yeah, I suppose if you want to look at it like that, yeah. Alright, so Real Boy's just going through it and checking for differences. Yeah. This way it's going to speed up the gameplay a bit. Yeah. Okay. Is it not finished yet? She's the vice president now. I get that. I don't want any more of them to die. So this is the part where they, they like, oh well, why aren't you going to join the club? I'm defenseless against this girl, oh no. Yep. You really mean that? Oh my god. Cool. Yep. It could be an official club now. Yep. There we go. So that was the thing that you talked about earlier. Yeah. Four members. Yeah. Can't really impress the Monica yet. And the girls can see the chit chat as you clean up the team. Guess I'll be on my way then. Okay. See you tomorrow then. Can't wait. That was quicker, wasn't it? <laughs> Alright. Writing a poem tonight. You have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Go on then. That's a poem? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. That's that's cool. Okay. She's gone! Yeah, she's gone. No, I don't like it. Should we leave it there? Sure. Right. Right. This Some is... shit happened. Some shit really did happen. boy doesn't know what to do. So there we go. So, thanks for watching us play this. Yeah, see you later. See you in a bit.